What's up everyone? It's Irene and welcome back to our channel. So guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about a lot of things but before I tell you, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate all of you for the support and also uh, appreciate uh, mom Eva. You actually supported me in a very big way and I truly, truly and truly appreciate. Sister Julie also a lot of appreciation like thank you so much for Sister Julie. I'm still going to talk about it in the near future because it's a plan of the future. You know, future can be tomorrow, next week and in today's video, in today's video, I'm going to talk about Hello Baby, I'm going to talk about Max Zero and Baby Antarctica. Baby Antarctica, for those who don't know, it's a key-based motorcycle. And also Malahika, the host, the transformative narrative, you know. And guys, if it's your first time joining us, kindly subscribe to our channel and just to say a very big thank you so let's dive in uh, to the video hello baby official it's been six days since you posted a video and i am getting concerned as a sister you know so first and foremost i hope that uh, the recent incident which you did is not affecting you uh, to the to the point that you are not even posting any video and I hope that actually you accepted the mistake and asked for forgiveness, you know. In fact, you know, I've been sitting down waiting for an apology uh, to the boss Ayamara because that wasn't good at all. You know, the first thing that you would have done with the new manage, uh, not with the new management, but um, with the security personnel and the manager is to listen to the rules in place, respect it, go back and maybe, maybe try another time or even book an appointment because most of the people are in Villa Medellin uh, because of the appointments, you know. And guys, you know, most of us actually uh, during the party and even before the party, like the villa was so open until everyone felt like they must be there. And even if they go any any day, any time, they'll just be allowed in. But, you know, that actually, it made some people feel like, you know, it belongs, it's an open home where anyone can go at any day, any time, without actually considering the fact that it is a home. Home, home, home. Get the point, home, someone's home, uh, where you must actually inform them, ask for permission and everything. So... Hello baby, hello baby official. I'm not actually uh, reacting on you, but I'm just being concerned like you've not been posting if it's actually the incident which is affecting you because I know that uh, the travel commando banned you from accessing the villa just because of what you did. I hope you know it wasn't something good. Even if it was me, I wouldn't actually like uh, do a video like outside this gate trying to say. And then again, the the worst thing is putting a title, a very, very um, negative title that you were chased, something like that. And we all know the travel command and, the, and his workers can actually never ever chase you except to tell you that we have this rule in place, we have this regulation in place. Only that, only that. So what I know is that um, only Masubo told you the correct thing. And I'm glad that he actually emphasized on his video the importance of respecting rules and regulations. And also he told you, hello baby, about the new rules in place and the need to obtain permission from the security personnel before entry that was enough for you to understand and maybe communicate now book an appointment and go to villa medellin you can imagine it was as easy as one two three you know it doesn't mean that uh, now because you were there during the party and uh, doing this kind of job now you are free to go any day anytime without considering the fact that 
that it is someone's home in this case the travel commandos um so guys uh let's actually put that in mind like at least we should appreciate the fact that the travel commando welcomed us and allowed us to stay within his compound without any problem and even allowing everyone to create content any day any time and we truly appreciate for that because that was an opportunity of a lifetime to be sincere there is no any other youtuber in this world that can actually allow you to enter within their premises just like that create videos and benefit out of your brand and like it just goes like that it's very rare in fact most big youtubers big youtubers like marwa they lock their gates 24 7 and since now actually like um the party is over if you want to actually see the travel commando just book an appointment uh, for him although actually they were saying that from next week they actually like want to really rest like they don't want a lot of um not that they don't want i don't know how to i don't know the correct term to use this but they were putting this week as the last week of maybe having appointments and everything and everything so i think from next week it will be regulated um uh, appointments something like that but my actually point was to tell you and everyone okay not to tell you but to tell us like um let's have appointments inform them first that uh, you want to visit them and everything will be okay but if you just show up like just like that it's not nice you know it's not nice uh that home is not a public toilet where you just go and open the door and enter no it is a home now it is a home and definitely even you your home you will not like it when people just show up like even without informing you it's always good to inform people and if you find rules and regulations there just accept and i'm glad most people are actually not mad when they are told that no we can't meet today uh or if actually they get the feedback of uh, no the meeting will not happen today let's uh, do the meeting tomorrow they actually like uh get to understand they accept and they wait for the right time hello baby my brother hello baby my brother uh the travel commando has actually supported us the best in the best way that you can which no one in this world can do such a thing plus uh the subscribers actually supported you in so many ways and for example the motorbike and you have a gopro and some cash which you used to receive so i'm not here to criticize you no i will never do anything like that i consider you as my brother hello baby and you know if actually it is the recent situation where you were banned from the villa uh, which has actually made you not to create more videos just do this just make an apology in fact a public apology because you know now you went publicly uh saying that you were chased away and we all heard from uh, only masubo that you weren't just just away so just come out and speak the truth and the truth will set you free you know but to just to say that uh we we still uh brothers and sisters and i appreciate you and all that so guys let's now talk about max zero you know why uh, i always call him max zero because he likes criticizing people like he criticizes a lot and especially the travel commando he criticizes him a lot even if he does uh empowerment taking uh kids to school or even like opening that channel where subscribers can support uh pupils and students from nyabo and say you know is max uh, zero because he is in that political seat not even like uh, he was voted in but he works for a politician and in that office they have a basare kitty to support students in need or pupils in need within his ward and he is actually the personal assistant to that elected leader 
So now Marwa actually through God's hands, a lot of people benefit from him. A lot of people get uh, subscribers who um, actually like uh, they can support or how do I put this? A lot of people get or a lot of families get support when it comes to education and at the end of the day this guy comes and criticizes them and then recently he comes out and asks for support of a certain student actually and actually you know i felt like laughing at the end of the day because you know he is in that office that actually actually they are allocated school fees for needy families and he couldn't do it guys that was laughable you know it was laughable because you know if you come out to youtube and ask for assistance you should not criticize people you should not criticize marwa for actually like um when it comes to supporting kids to go to school, people to go to school, you should be supporting him so that when you also come out and ask for support, you we actually see the impact that you also have. But then when Marwa comes out, people or uh, people get support, and then you start talking bad about it, you start criticizing, and then after some time, you also come out to ask for support. Complicated complicated and the funny thing is that when people get support he calls them scammers now <laughs> who is the scammer again who is the scammer if you still come out you you yourself max zero you still come out to ask a uh, support when it comes to school because when others get that support to take uh, children to school you call them scammers now what about you so guys, um, did you watch the new challenge with our horses and into brackets village life in Africa? That was actually the latest, the latest, latest video by the travel commando and it featured a lot and a lot of stories in there and the last part is where actually it was uh, is it launching? It was launching a uh, Kibes motorcycle, a very powerful one, a very expensive one. And I just wanted to talk about the importance of being honest, the importance of helping one another and anything surrounding the two words. Because actually, how it started, like how Kibe was supported, started in such a way that Kibe and Ro went to actually air out and a story, actually a story uh, within the village and it was a story about a family and one of Marwa's supporters actually uh, willingly supported a boy and the only thing that Kibe was told is to ensure that this boy goes to school and not only to school but a very good school and they actually looked for a good school for the boy and enrolled the boy to school and after that he was supported in a very very huge way when it comes to the buying of the current motorcycle which he owns and which will be helping him when it comes to the adventure of actually like uh, supporting the vulnerable communities and guys you know actually since Kibe got this bike while in Villa Medellin. He actually like uh, told the travel commando that you are going to name the motorcycle. And the travel commando actually named it Antarctica. And now I have a question for you guys. Why do you think that uh, the travel commando named Big Kibe's uh, motorcycle Antarctica. Why do you think, guys? Why do you think? So, let me just say this. For me, I think that uh, baby Antarctica, you know, was given that name. Or, let me just say, I think that Kibes motorcycle was named Antarctica by Marwa. Why do you think? For me, for me, I think he named it Antarctica to symbolize 
the bike's power, strength and capability to conquer all terrains. And we all remember that he said Antarctica means extreme. So Antarctica being a vast and challenging continent could represent the bike's ability to navigate through various landscapes and conditions. So, or additionally, Marwa, so additionally, additionally, naming it after a unique and remote location or conti continent, additionally, naming it after a unique and remote location adds a sense of adventure and uniqueness to the motorcycle. So I think that was uh, one of the main reasons as to why the travel commando named Kibes Motorcycle and Tactica. What do you think, guys? And again, in the same, same video, uh, Mara talked about the rabbit situation. They were 15 and now they are 7. What is happening within Villa Medellin? Those people who are working there kindly take good care of uh, the travel commandos, uh, properties, animals and items since actually you are there to support him and at the same time he's supporting you. So it's two-way traffic, you know, both of you are benefiting in one way or the other. So I want to encourage you to ensure that um, is actually very very psychologically comfortable so that by the time he starts traveling he doesn't have a lot of uh, pressure to think about um, how will this uh, be like will my rabbits be safe will my horses be safe just actually um have this i don't know even how to explain but i want to encourage you i want to encourage you to actually take good care of everything like literally everything so that it actually doesn't be like things are missing without even him knowing you know so guys um marwa actually or the travel commando shared with us uh, an emotional interaction so guys Marwa actually shares a heartwarming interaction with uh, his horses especially with Malaika and guys remember Malaika guys when they first actually landed in Nyabo Anse it is actually this type of horse where the travel commando told us that uh, it actually like uh, it's not that friendly and all that maybe it's because of change of environment and now and now uh, there is an emotional bond between the travel commando and Malaika the horse because remember at first guys it was this horse that actually the travel commando was like oh this horse is very unfriendly this horse this horse malaika now but the emotional bond between them now is something else because we could all see how he could actually like pamper um malaika the horse and the moment he removed the hand Malika just follows him, wants to be pampered. So I am so grateful and I thank God that at least an emotional bond is exists now between Malika and the travel commando who is now I am Marwa.